Hey guys, Mark here and uh, welcome to another video. Now, recently I put up a video about the Boss version 3 upgrades for the Katana amp. And on that video, I had a few comments about how the assign function actually works for the expression pedals because, you know, it's pretty confusing until you kind of dive in there and get stuck into it. So what I'm going to do here in this video is I'm going to attempt to kind of mix some on-screen footage where I'm going to do some screen capture for the, um, for the actual uh, Katana Tone Studio and also um, what I'm doing with the amp as well and what the pedal is doing and, and uh, you know just try and mix that up and see how it goes and uh, coffee helps I think with all of these kind of problems. All right let's get stuck in. So one of the first things that I want to explain before I get stuck in to the on-screen stuff and thing that's really important is these connections here and this will determine how your on-screen stuff works and this is to do with how you've actually got your foot pedal set up or the expression pedal. So I'm going to take this out of here a second. So the only connection I've really got at the moment is the GAFC which is the thing which is changing the channels. Now you might not have this foot controller, it doesn't matter, it's not really relevant specifically to the sign functions on the version 3 software. But what it does mean is that if you are using one, you've got other options on how you set that up. So let me explain what those are. So I'm using this, which is the Boss pedal, and it's an EV30. Now what you can do is you can link this pedal directly here, okay, which is for the expression pedal. And I believe you can also put a different type of foot switch in here. If you've got one that changes just between channel one and channel two, for example, if you're not using the GAFC, that also works out of here. But let's say you're using the expression pedal and that's how you've got it set up. Now, the reason this is important is because this affects from where you control the assigned parameters. So on the screen here now, you can see, um, Basically, this area here is where you will select your sections to be controlled by the foot controller if it's plugged in here. Now, there's two other areas which, if you are using the GAFC, do affect how the assign functions work. So the other two ways which will affect the assign function on the uh, screen software is if you've got your expression pedal, so here's my EV30, linked up to either the volume output, where it says expression pedal on the GAFC, or the effects. So whichever one of these you elect, and to be honest with you, from having to play with it, I don't think it matters too much which way you have it round. Um, it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference and both seem to work depending on how you've got it set up. But if you plug it in to your foot controller from here, with the volume, then go to this section. If you're using the effects output to the expression pedal, then use this section to set up all your assigned functions. Okay, so we're inside my Tone Studio setup and these are all the buttons that you need to basically lay out all of your effects chains and then the options from there. So the first one, which is the effects, obviously then shows you this screen here with the options that you've got selected for whichever channel you're on. So just quickly running through this, because obviously if you're watching this, you'll have Tone Studio and you've no doubt played with it a little bit, but just to give you uh, an indication of where I am on this basic sound. This is my primary clean channel, so it sounds like this. Okay, now the way that the pedal is set up, I've got mine, as I said, going into the effects output from the GAFC. So that basically means when I pull the pedal back, 
I've got a volume sweep and that's it. That's the way this is set up because I haven't really got into detail with anything uh, deeper than that with the expression side of things. I originally bought this expression pedal just because I wanted a wah-wah um, and it also gave me the versatility of having the control later on if I wanted to than just, you know, if I bought a crybaby or something. So anyway, if you go into the chain, this is my effects chain. So channel one, I've got my guitar in, which goes in through the amp EQ section. So obviously that's this part here and here. Then I've got my booster or my mod, my delay or my FX, and then my reverb, and then out to my speaker option. So in the booster, this is set to a mid boost. My mod section on the first bit here is a chorus. So if I actually turn that on, and you can see when you move the control up here, which is what you would have on the amp, this is what it's changing. So it's changing the chorus rate. Okay. So it's affecting between the high and the low rate there. And this chorus is basically going to be set up however I want my sound and then stored so that when I turn the chorus on, when I'm using my GAFC, this is the sound I get. Okay, so that's how my options are set. I don't really use the booster on there. I would normally just switch to a different channel if I wanted lead sound, because I'd want a different type of tone on there. Into the delay, and on my clean sound, I'm using a digital delay, so I've got a uh, low feedback, about 33. <coughs> and I've got a delay time of just over half a second. Okay, just to add a bit of kind of depth to the sound. If I went over to the effects, well, I haven't really played with this or set it up for this channel, to be honest, because my clean sound is basically just a little bit of chorus when I wanted it, a bit of delay, and on my delay two, in fact, I've got that set up for reverb. So there's my sound there. So what we're really interested in is how the assign functions work. So if we look at the assign, now we're going back to the clip that we looked at a few minutes ago where we've got these three sections. So I just want to remind everybody here what these are. So when you have the knobs button, whatever you set your thing to here becomes what is affected when you actually move the physical button on the amp. So if I wanted to change an element of the drive or the tone or any other aspect of that, what I would do is I would put that on there and say, okay, the drive. When I go to my booster, and if you look here, let's say for example, I brought in a crunch. This drive section is what's gonna be applied when I change that okay so when my amp is live this is really important so this is how this gets affected if I'm playing live and I reach over to the amp and just turn this volume sorry this this knob here what it's changing is whatever I've asked it to in here and what I've set that as so for example now if I went to the tone instead and let's go back to my mod sorry the booster Okay, so I've selected tone to be operated by this button now. So when I change that, it's the tone which is being affected. So this is for a live thing. So you can literally reach over to your amp, change that button slightly, and whatever you've asked it to in the assign function here is what it's going to do. So forget all of these parts over here. This is going to affect the tone, if I've got that selected on there. The same for the delay. Whatever aspect of the delay I want affected. So let's say I want to change the delay time live. I go to my delay. When I move this now, it changes my delay time. So I can increase that on the fly. Now if I go back and I say, well actually, I don't want the delay time. I actually want the amount of effect. Now I'll go back to my delay. And you'll see when I move this, it's the level of the effect which gets changed.
like so. So if I actually wanted to do that, okay, oh, let's turn that boost off. I don't like the sound of that. Let's get rid of that. If you can hear any weird noises in the background, it is blowing an absolute hoolie down here in Andalusia this weekend. It's absolutely mental. So look, let's go back to my delay. I'm going to change my delay knob and this is what's going to happen. Okay, so that's what's been affected there. Now let's go back to really get this point clear. I don't want the level changed, I want the amount of feedback. Now when I go back here, just because you can see it, because obviously you won't see this when you're playing live. I'm just going to tweak the knob on top of the amp. And if I bring that right down, let's bring that right up now. So, and you can control the parameters on here by how much they move in later presets as well. But this is just literally giving you the option to move it between the rates that are preset. Okay, right, so I'm gonna turn this off now and let's get into the bit that actually makes sense for me. So all I've got on here now is a bit of reverb. Let's go back into the assign function. So when I had the expression pedal connected directly into the back of the amp, so it's just going from that pedal output to the expression pedal, when I have that set up, these are the individual functions which can be changed by that setup. If I chose to have the expression pedal from the output from my GAFC foot controller, from the volume output, these are all the parameters that would get set up. But I'm not using either of these, I'm using this one. So I've got my foot pedal, my expression pedal here, just controlling, or controlled I should say, from this output. So all these are here is a duplicate of this. So basically you've got one element there as your first option. Your second element is whichever one of these you choose and that's it. So you've just got to choose. Now if you've got multiple options set up, multiple foot controllers and stuff, then yeah, you're going to be able to go in and assign these because if I had two foot controllers, two expression pedals, one from there direct out from the GAFC, I could set up to control a completely independent set of functions to here. So in essence, I could control that from the amp, that from expression pedal one, this from expression pedal two. So that's when it starts getting really sophisticated and I think that's when you've really got to sit down and, and think about your sound because it's quite um, obviously important for you to get your own sound set up there. So the thing that we're interested in here and the comments I had were to do with a couple of the effects, but also really to do with, you know, like a live way this sets up. So to kind of just reinforce what we did here, because to be honest, there's not much difference except for the fact that you've actually got a little bit more flexibility on the parameters you control. If I went to, uh, let's say we're going to go to the booster assign. Okay. So in here, I've got the preset part of a booster. So I can go into the drive. And if I go to my booster and I turn that on, that's preset to the tone because it's set on there. So I've just actually used that to turn it on. That's all. I didn't really want to worry about what the tone was there. But now I've turned that on. <laughs> So if I just play a chord, so the amp 
is controlling. Oh, put it on the right one. So I've got crunch OD there, the amp is controlling the tone, okay? Now, if I wanted to go to, so now, the amount of drive is being controlled by the foot controller. And the tone That's the foot controller controlling the drive. I feel like I'm flying a helicopter here. Okay, and the amp itself. Okay, so that's two of the elements that I can control from the assign function. So I've got the amp set up from there. And these here, the booster, the delay, and the reverb, are all tied with this here, the booster, okay, the delay, and the reverb. Now, the effects presets control whichever effect that you've got on there. So, bear in mind, let's go back to our effects here. And let's say, on my mod, I've got the chorus, the univibe, and the phaser. When I go to the assign functions, I've got, say for example, the Univibe. I could change the rate, the depth, and the level by using this knob here when it's on the mod there. So I can control that up and down. So when I click, when I click on here, when it's live, when I've got the amp and it lights up the Univibe, whichever preset function I've got there set up, so let's say for example it's the rate, I go onto my mod and I'm going to turn on, this is my Univibe. So now, what will happen is when I turn this button, the rate of the Univibe will change. Okay, so the rate is practically the speed. But let's say I want it to do something else. Let's say I want it to control the depth. Now what's gonna happen is when I go to the effects, the Univibe, and so I'm playing live. So you can hear the rate isn't changing, or the speed of the Univibe, but more the actual depth of the effect. Okay. So whichever of these functions you've got set at the time, you can change the parameter for that when it's on that mode, okay? So if you made it this far into the video, thanks very much for watching, and I hope it wasn't too boring. I'm sure you'll agree with me, there are a ton of options to get stuck into there, so the best thing you can do is literally just do that, get stuck in, have a play, but don't forget, if you find something that you like, hit the right button at the top of the software there so that you store that either into the amp itself or into the library, depending on where you're working. And uh, just leaves me to say that uh, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate all the comments and feedback. Uh, we're just going into 2019 at the time of recording, so I also just want to wish you a very happy new year and all the best for the year ahead. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, leave me comments, and uh, I hope I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, all the best for now. Catch you soon. Take care.